it's easy, Anne, and I want to talk to you about making your life easier, because when I talk to you about making your life easier, I talk to me about making my life easier. And we all need to make our li lives easier because we're pretty much stuck in the cultural consciousness of struggle. This consciousness that has been brought from generation to generation to generation, and it's it's in our cells, it's, it's everywhere. But what is happening now is that people are waking up, and I don't know that we're waking up to a golden age, I can't tell you that, but I can tell you that the evolution of consciousness continues to move forward. We have mind psychology now that we never had before, and this mind psychology is is and has changed the world, especially the United States. It has made us um, possibility thinkers. It's made us positive thinkers. It used to be, say, 100 years ago or maybe 150 years ago, there were things, things about self-growth, but the things about self-growth, were they were always talking about that you needed to be, uh, that you needed to work hard or you needed to have integrity or you needed to not have sloth or overeat, which all of those things count. But they really didn't uh, address when the self-help didn't address this emotional feeling. It was always action, take action. And then we got the idea. It was like, oh, my gosh, not only do we take action, which is a given. We always have to take action in our lives, but we have to have an in internal shift or things just cannot move and the the secret that we talk about and we hear about the secret is basically that this sweetness of life this ease of life is always present it's not something that we get to through action and activity it's something that we tune into if you go into the if you go to the television and you have a channel, so you have channel five, you don't have to go and be the player in channel five and uh, the producer and the director and the actors and all that in channel five. No, you just turn the TV on. You just tune in to the tune into the show. And if it's a comedy, probably you're going to laugh and it's going to be really great. Well, I'm saying that on the channels in our consciousness, there's a channel for everything going on, and it's going on right now. There's no waiting involved whatsoever. So what we do have the ability to do if we are suffering from ego-driven ego suffering, and that is stuff that we don't need to suffer about, we can turn our minds immediately and tune in to that gracious sense of well-being because it's always present. Now, I'm not really oversimplifying it because if there is genuine pain, this doesn't work. I'm not trying to talk everybody out of being authentic with what's going on with their pain. I am saying that so much of the suffering that I see in this world, in this country, is suffering about stuff that does not absolutely matter. Now, and if it does matter, is it impacting me right away? I think I mentioned in the newsletter last week, but that is that uh, on election day, my husband and I didn't tune into the elections. We knew that the election probably wouldn't be settled in anyway. And what we did was we tuned into another channel. We watched a, a comedy. And we had a great time. And, you know, we could have watched the TV. And we could have watched the election returns. And we could have been miserable watching those. And we could have gotten angry righteous. And we could have taken sides. And, and it was like, you know, I don't think I'm going to go there. So we have this ability to first just go in a different direction, whether it's like actually watch your show or read your book, but more still, more immediate, is if we had nothing to tune into, if we tune into the present moment and just say, suppose I just decide that I'm not going to be upset right now, and suppose I just decide to be okay. And then we look toward that and tune into that, and that requires a quiet mind one of the first ways to get to a quiet mind is to question. And that is, how do I have a quiet mind? That's something we can ask our consciousness. And then we say, oh, we know, it's not thinking so much. 
And if we can't get to that space, I mean, if I can't get to that space, what I do is I just say, help me, help my mind be quiet. And I begin breathing deeply and moving away from states of upset into states of calm. Sometimes, like I'm saying, I do it mentally. Sometimes I read a book. Sometimes I do it physically. But what I know is that sometimes my mind is going too much and it's too addicted to the drama so that I have to wean it off so I can get to those quiet moments because in those quiet moments is the ease. In the quiet moments is where we are present. We can't even experience our own identity unless we can dwell in that quietness, that stillness, that ease, that essence of who we are. And so to me, I think tuning into the essence of who we are is really easy to be because it's just when we tune into who we are, then everything flows. And it doesn't mean the external events are the way we want them to be. It just means that the, within us, this river of well-being, this river of life flows. And then we don't have to have anything else. We don't have to be thrown around by the winds of life. So here's just a few ideas, the things that ruminate in my mind and, and maybe they'll ring with you, true with you, and maybe they won't ring true with you. We always have to go into our own inner sanctum, our own inner truth to see what rings true to us. And we have to be sure that we're not putting it through filters that would throw away the gold of existence because we have been tuned or trained not to listen to something new or something different or something that is that tells us that our belief isn't true. But we have to know when we're listening through a filter or listening through the heart. And all of that happens with consciousness, awareness, and awake. And that's what I'm always talking about. And so I hope those ideas resonate with you. And I want you to remember one more thing for sure. And that is that I love you.